guys, my name is Brandon from Gearist.com and welcome to this edition of Ask Gearist. Today's question is actually something that we've been asked several times. So rather than read it from one person, I'm just gonna put it out there for everyone. And that is, what do you do with your old running shoes? Now initially, this question came from someone who had just recently transitioned from a more traditionally dropped shoe to a lower drop shoe. That's a difference in height from the heel to the forefoot. He was wondering, what do you do with these shoes? Can you go back and forth between the two? Is it bad for your body? That kind of thing. So first, let's address that part of the question. Now here at Gearist, we go all over the gamut. I run in shoes regularly that are about 10 millimeters on down to zero millimeters, sometimes up to 12, though I prefer not to get up that high. A lot of natural running purists might say that this is not necessarily really great for your body, but I actually think it's really good for your body to be able to adapt to those things and be more flexible with what you're wearing. Of course, not everyone has the volume of shoes that we have here at Gears. Myself, I generally speaking, have around 10 to 12 pairs of running shoes in rotation at any given time and trying to get those to where they need to be mileage wise for testing purposes. However, with your old running shoes, you can still wear those high drop running shoes if you really want to. Maybe it's a great opportunity to use one as a trail shoe, or maybe it's a good opportunity to use a video like this that we put up a while ago and turn those into some winter running shoes with some spikes on them. So that's the short and sweet running related answer to this question. But now there are a lot of other ways that you can take care of those old shoes and figure out new things to do with them. Now, of course, a lot of this depends on the condition in which your shoes are. Now, maybe you don't want to run in them anymore. They're just kind of blown out and worn out. In that case, maybe it's time to really use those to be your lawn mowing shoes, and that's totally fine. If they're in really pretty good condition, maybe it's a good chance to see if somebody on Craigslist or eBay would like to have them. Now, especially if there's something that's kind of vintage -y that you might you know, not be able to find in stores anymore, some people really like to find those things. Now a program that you might not be aware of but that's really really cool is Nike's Reuse a Shoe program. Now in this program what they do is they take old running shoes, not just Nike's, into their facility, they grind them up and they turn them into running tracks and playground bases. This is that if you've ever been on a playground and you feel it's kind of rubbery, so if your kid falls they ideally bounce off of it, or if you're at a running track that rubbery surface, that likely came from this Nike Reuse a Shoe program where they just grind up that old EVA and rubber and turn it into something useful. If you're interested in finding out more about that, we have a link down in the description below. Now, a couple more charitable ways that you can repurpose your running shoes is by donating them to either your local Goodwill or something like that, but more specifically to a program like Souls for Souls or One World Running. In the case of Souls for Souls, they take your lightly used running shoes that are still in good enough condition to be worn by others and they donate them to those in need. This is both a means of clothing people, but it's also a means of inspiring athletic participation in those people. It's much the same with One World Running. In that case, shoes that are collected here in the United States that are lightly used and are able to be reused by other people are then taken to places like Haiti or Costa Rica, places where those shoes might be needed. And again, inspiring athletic purposes and also clothing those people. We've also included information for where and how to donate to Souls for Souls and One World Running in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. The final way is to actually repurpose your shoes to something around your house. Now, for me, for instance, I have my first Iron Man running shoes kind of set up in a little frame type of area somewhere that I really like to go and look at. That's kind of a commemorative thing. I've got the metal there, the bib, and all that kind of stuff. Another quite crafty idea that we saw online was that you could take your shoe and with a plastic bag, kind of Ziploc bag, you could fill it with a little bit of sand and turn it into a kind of cool looking doorstop. Now, my wife would have none of that, trust me, but if you like that look, or maybe it's something that you want in the garage to prop open a back door or something like this, it's a really good way to kind of commemorate this shoe. This is a shoe that you ran in. It's a shoe that you spent a lot of time in. Let's just see if we can repurpose it in that direction. Also, you could use it as a water shoe if you like to go tubing or something like that. This is a great way to use it. Now, our question for you today is the obvious. What do you do with your shoes when you're done using them or if you've transitioned onto another type of shoe? Do you keep running in it? Do you rotate? it out? Do you donate it? What do you do? Please let us know in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for joining us in this episode of Ask Gearist. If you've got a question for us, we'd love to hear it. Please leave it down below in the comment section or send it to info at gearist.com. As always, please follow us on all our social media, which you can see right over here, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter,
there, my personal Strava up there at the top. And most importantly, definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking that YouTube button right over there and you're automatically subscribed. That way you can get the latest and the greatest updates of reviews, news, we've got some lists coming out, all that kind of things. Don't forget promotions as well. Also, please visit Gearist.com where all of our news and reviews lives. And if you've got any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us on social media right there, those guys over there, or info at Gearist.com. Thank you guys so much for spending a few minutes with us today and we'll see you next time.